What's up? What's good? Let's see what's going on for my Sagittarian Ninth House Collective or whoever finds this, your Ninth House. What's going on for them? Thank you. So we have foundation and pain. Ooh. So there's some, there's some pain and um, apprehensive energy around a family dynamic that may, it, it appears to me that is, yeah, um, I, I feel like that there's some deep rooted insecurities here um, that are creating some apprehensions inside of establishing a fam family foundation or re-establishing a family foundation here. What's going on with this family foundation sphere? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah, the emperor in the reverse. Absolutely. So I feel like that there could be some sort of insecurities around fatherhood, around a father or around fatherhood here for sure. Um, yeah, um, I feel like that someone actually has a false, a, like some sort of false perception, f false idea of what fatherhood or family security foundation is supposed to look like. So there's a false sense of identity as it pertains to manly energy. So either someone is exerting false masculine energy based off an illusion or someone is expecting false masculine energy based off an illusion. And um, I do feel like that this has created some apprehension here. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, wow. It's what's causing someone not to close a cycle up. Someone is is consciously making a decision, a head over heart decision to not close a cycle up because of this false illusion around their foundation, their masculine energy when it comes to security and family. Hmm. So how do we work on this? Wow, the sun card and the five of cups. How do we work on this? There is a need to find the silver lining. There has to be an acceptance of what is and what took place. So this either has to be that this is this can be true as well as this could be true. So there has to be an acceptance that either what took place in the past doesn't have to take place here in the present, but the past offers just as much of a value to the present if you're willing to learn the lessons of the past. If you can't learn the lessons of the past, then of course it's going it's doomed to repeat itself. But if you're willing to extract the lessons from that past situation, then you can have an optimistic perspective about moving forward because you're then able to find the silver lining. I do feel like that there are going to be some... Um, there, this is going to create some sudden changes. The awareness of this, the incorporation of this, this is going to bring about some sudden changes. This brings about a tower moment with the Page of Swords. And I do feel like that this tower moment is going to bring about someone's repressed feelings in a very cynical, sarcastic way. So I definitely, um, uh, I definitely encourage you to not allow someone's words to be as cutting as they may come off. Like someone may say some cutting words or you may desire to say some cutting words. I'd encourage against it. I'd encourage against it. 